हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते वेलकम टू योर साइंस क्लास ओके सो आई होप एवरी वन स्टाडी इज गोइंग वेरी वेल सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस आवर फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ दिस मंथ ओके सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू विथ योर सिलेबस यू हैव टू चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर साइंस बुक दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज आवर हाउसेज विच वी डन इन द लास्ट मंथ एंड द न्यू चैप्टर दैट यू हैव इज मैटर एंड इट्स स्टेट सो two chapter you have for your next month's exam and today we are going to start the second chapter that is matter and its state matter and its state so the first thing is what is matter okay so all the things whatever it is living or non living the things which uh, occupy space and have certain weight is called a matter so generally matter found in three states solid liquid and gases okay so we are going to discuss about all these things all the states of the matters one by one first of all let's take solid so uh, today we will discuss today we will discuss about solids uh, what is solid and what is the uh, characteristics of solid and along with that we will discuss rest of the two uh, states of the matter okay that is liquid and gas so what is solid solid is a substance which is generally hard okay and its shape does not change unless some force applied on it it can easily held on our hand the examples of solid is um a piece of wood a piece of uh, stone brick these are the example of solid so what are the characteristic of solid solid uh, can easily held on our hand it is generally hard it uh, it has a certain shape and volume also and uh okay so oh, these are the examples uh, of solid that means a piece of wood a piece of stone and brick okay these are the example of solid so the next variety of uh, state is liquid so we cannot held liquid in our hand liquids uh, can flow from higher level to lower level okay so uh, it it does not have shape um, but it have its uh, certain volume okay so uh, the examples of uh, liquid is milk oil water okay so what are the uh, characteristics of liquid liquid can flow from higher side to lower side uh, we cannot held liquid in our hand it take the shape of vessels in which it kept and it does not have a shape it has a volume okay and the examples are milk water and oil so the last uh, state of matter is gas so uh, gas are uh, neither have a uh, shape or nor have volume so uh, it can occupy the space in which it keep gases can flow in all the direction as you know that water can flow only upper side to lower side that means uh, in the higher level to lower level but gas can flow uh, in the all the directions okay some examples of gas are gases are oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide these are the gases and Uh, the characteristics of gases are it uh, neither have shape nor have volume we cannot held it in our hand it take the shape of a container in which it keeps and also uh, it can uh, flow in the all the directions okay so these are the characteristics of gases so next we are going to discuss about the property of liquid solid and gases okay so let's talk about a few uh, properties of these three states first of all let's take solid so solid have the characteristics of solid solid have a uh, definite shape definite volume okay solid uh, can held in our hand uh, solid cannot flow solid cannot diffuse and uh, solid cannot be compressed okay okay so next is liquid 
so the properties of liquids are uh, liquid uh, does not have shape but it have uh, volume it cannot diffuse in air it can flow but it can flow from higher side to lower side okay and uh, also liquid cannot be compressed okay so the next is gas the last uh, state of matter is gas so gas gas can diffuse in air gas can be compressed gas does not have uh, shape and it also does not have volume okay and uh, gas can flow in all the direction as i said so these are the properties of these three uh, states of matters okay so in the next class we will uh, discuss uh, uh, half of the chapter okay and we already finished let me tell you that we already finished the half of the chapter okay okay so uh, i hope you will understand today's class and till then take care and bye